Welcome to a revolting review. I am Random Ross, and today I am reviewing Being Human Season 1, the US version. So, this is a supernatural horror comedy drama uh, that um, focuses, well, it stars. Uh, Sam Witwer, uh, Megan Rath, and Sam Huntington, and Krista Hager. So this is a, a North American um, production and is a US um, version of the hit UK show Being Human. Only this time, instead of focusing on a vampire, werewolf and ghost sharing a house in Bristol, it's a vampire, werewolf and ghost sharing a house in Boston, in America. Um, so it focuses, well the first season focuses on um, Aiden, the vampire, um, played by Sam Witwer, and Josh, the werewolf, played by uh, Sam, what's his name, you know, the kid from Jungle to Jungle. Um, Sam Huntington and Sally and Sally um, played by me Megan Rath so in this we um, follow these three um, Aiden's the vampire I've already said who was there so yeah Sally is the ghost and basically they try and live you know they're uh, human as possible lives where of course like in the original Aiden's clan led by Bishop who is also got an alias as a cop uh, you know is trying to get him to come back into the clan uh, and also we have um, Josh who's a bit socially awkward and he finds this uh, woman named Nora, named Nora attractive and you know he actually starts to date her and then there is Sally who is the ghost who notices that her ex-fiance Danny is in a relationship with her friend and you know she gives them her approval and their blessing but still doesn't know how to move on but then she discovers that like in the UK one he pushes her down the stairs and she dies and then throughout that season and then in the big finale of that season you know Sally you know I mean they do try I mean Danny and his fiance do try and exercise Annie but not Annie Sally and um, you know and even manages to get through to a medium and you know the medium sees what Danny did and she's like she deserves this house and you deserve whatever she does to you and then eventually, you know, she gets this, you know, um, Aiden, Josh and Sally come together, scare him, make him confess his crime, and then he gets locked away. And also, just like in the UK one, Aiden gets attacked by Bishop, and also um, Aiden has a love interest who was human but is old now and is dying. And we also um, see um, Josh, who's girlfriend Nora finds out he's a wolf and he accidentally scratches her when pushing her away and then he gives her the curse bit pretty much like the UK being human so I know what you're thinking UK American remake of the UK show well the premise is the same and the format is similar but I don't consider this a US remake no I don't I actually consider this a you know being human you know, set in the same universe as the UK being human, but it follows an American vampire, an American werewolf, an American ghost in uh, this one. So, and like I say, um, you know, our original three in the first in the UK being human aren't the only trinity of a vampire, a werewolf, and a ghost, uh, as I stated in my UK reviews. So, um, yeah, um, let's get on to my likes and dislikes. First of all, I liked pretty much the whole supernatural premise of it I gotta say being human the UK one it's on you know like I say it's on a tight budget it's a low budget show but it works and I like the vampires in this 
and you know, vampire blood, fresh living human blood to them is like a drug addiction. Uh, but in this one, the vampires are still have the black eyes when they feed and they have the fangs. But uh, in this, the vampires have supernatural speed and strength, uh, like in a lot of American vampire shows that we see nowadays. And um, in this, Aiden does find human blood addictive, but he finds ways to satisfy the urge by drinking blood from a blood bank, by warming it up in a mug and drinking it. So he handles his way, he has his ways of handling his addiction to blood. So yeah, I like the, the vampire mythos in this. It's similar to the UK one, but like I say, this is an American version, so they have probably a better budget. Um, in this. Um, yeah, so I have to say, when it comes to vampires, America, you do it better, I think. At least in the TV shows. Then there's Josh, who is the werewolf. Um, now, I like the werewolf in this. I like that we see the werewolf a lot more in it than the UK version. In the UK one, we see... We see... We do see a werewolf in it. But the werewolf isn't nowhere near as frequent as the US one. Um, so I like that we see the werewolves a lot more in this. But the dislike on the werewolves is CGI. I mean, they go full CGI out on the werewolves. And it's nothing practical like in the UK one. Like I say, the UK one was a low budget show, but it worked. And this one, the werewolves work, but it's like... Mm, you know, it's just CGI. I mean, there's some CGI that is good and works for stuff, but in this, not so much. But I do appreciate the effort they make on the werewolves. Still the same rules, one transformation a month uh, in a full moon. And then there's the ghost Sally, who, again, is very similar to Annie. Um, you know, she's like, got a dark skin tone. She does wear grey pyjama-like stuff. Uh, but the ghost, she she floats around more and does more poltergeist stuff. So the ghost probably has the least changes to it coming into the United States version. Uh, also, the drama in this is more darker and more intense, and it's just got better drama and better you know story arcs to it than the UK one. This, of course, uh, the UK version had six to eight episodes a series. Uh, this, the U the American one, I think has up to 13 episodes a season. So there's 13 episodes in season one and it premiered on the Sci-Fi Channel in America. And it didn't premiere on the UK Sci-Fi Channel. Over here it premiered on the channel called Watch, uh, which is a channel from the BBC. Uh, well, run by the BBC and it did rerun the UK being human on there. Um, but yeah, I, again, I just like the dark tones in this and the supernatural drama. Like I say, America does do it slightly better, I gotta admit. You know, it's just those werewolves, you know. But other than that, the rest of the show is just, you know, brilliant. And I do recommend it. If you love the UK one, you might like the American one. I say for you, that those that love the UK one, you're either gonna like it or you're not. Me, personally, I liked it, so... Yeah, Being Human USA Season 1, my ratings, I'm going to give this one... Do you know what, I'm going to give it a three and a half machetes out of five for the US Being Human Season 1. So, that has been my revolting review on the US Being Human. So, what did you think to this one? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you have seen it, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and you're new here and you want to see more from me, no pressure, but if you want to do see more from this channel, then be sure to do all that. Um, my social media links are down below in the description. I have a Facebook group, I have Twitter and Instagram, so be sure to check all that out. I've been Random Ross and this has been a revolting review on... Well, I've just told you what it's been on. So, until next time, don't have nightmares.